Anyway, but we, um, we're, and that wasn't why we got the notoriety. Our notoriety came when they discovered that they have a video, it was a Christian video on MTV, and they were embarrassed by that situation, and they kicked us off, and then they explained when they started getting hundreds of phone calls that the reason why they kicked us off the format was because we were too violent for MTV. <laughs> Yes, and my, members of my church can appreciate that and understand that. Well, there was a scene. It's about the Antichrist, 666, right? And it's a companion song to Ali Christ's coming. Biblical message, but there was just a... You know, I mean, it wasn't, it, was, it, was, it wasn't even... It wasn't more violent than uh, the Whistle of Oz. Or Scarecrow gets it. We became the group, the Christian group, that was too violent for MTV. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ted Koppel said something on Nightline. Jane Pauley said something on the Evening News. Oh, uh, maybe it's a fear or something. Uh, then uh, Reverend Swagger mentioned it several times on his television show. Yeah, man, he was, he was not our biggest fan. And then I called my mother, Ellen Kermis, and my mom said, Dana, you know, Reverend Swagger said you're from the pit of hell. I said, Mom, you know I'm not. You were there. These are the jokes, folks. If you didn't pay to get in, we can't make you pay to leave, though. Anyway, it was fun. We had some folks start showing up to concerts with Mohawks and every body part pierced, and uh, it was great. So we had to win a lot of people to Jesus because of that, so we're okay. We're fine with being known as the most violent band in Christian music that got kicked off MTV in this school. But uh, we're really not. We're just, uh, just old plus balls. Yeah. I'm not doing this yet. <laughs> oh yeah, man, this is a lot of fun. Oh, no. 